hi guys good morning to you all okay today we will continue our subtopic our subtopic for the concentration of the echo solution okay at the end of the lesson okay students should be able to state the meaning so you must know the meaning of concentration of the echoes and second is soft numerical problems so in this chapter you must have your calculator okay if you not have a calculator uh, susah nak untuk kamu belajar okay so kita pergi kepada first is the meaning of concentration okay meaning of the concentration okay there have two unit of the concentration okay first is in mass over volume and the second is mole over a volume okay what actually the concentration okay concentration okay what is uh, actually the concentration so concentration is a uh, of a solution is a measurement that show the quantity of solute okay what the meaning of solute so you ingat lagi tak masa tingkatan form 2 you have learned okay solute plus solvent we will got the solution solute okay, contohnya kamu nak larutkan uh, you want to dissolve the salt with the water so the salt there are we call solute so the solvent here there are water so so our uh, salt uh, soluble with the water you will get the salt solution so the solution is salt solution okay concentration of a solution is a measurement the that show the quantity of solute so quantity of solute dia ada dua uh, unit ok yang tadi macam tadi saya punya ini so two units here ok either in a mass or in a mole so must be over with a volume of a solution so that's mean how many you punya solute huh? you dissolve in a the volume of a solution ok got it so remember that 1 dm cube is equal to 1000 centimeter cube and the solid plus solvent so that's mean salt plus water you will got a salt solution okay so this is the definition concentration of solution is a measurement which shows the quantity of a dissolved uh, dissolved solute in a 1 decimeter cube of a solution so concentration the formula for the concentration mass over the volume in unit g dm per gm negative 3 okay gm negative 3 so you look here so g dm negative 3 for the concentration yang mana kita kirakan the number of mole okay mole per dm cube is the number of mole of solute found in 1 dm cube solution is we call the concentration also as a molarity for the mass over volume we call concentration in the unit g dm cube huh? but concentration when we call the molarity huh? molarity here the number of mole over volume of solution okay setakat ini adakah kamu faham so fahamkan mengenai the definition concentration so concentration saya ulang lagi we have two unit first is uh, in mass of uh, dm uh, volume so that is a mass of solute found in 1 dm cube but in a mole dm cube then the number of mole found in a 1 decimeter cube of solution okay the number of mole Found in one dm cube per solution, we call as a molarity. Same ah, concentration and molarity. Tapi namanya molarity. Okay. So next, okay. Ini the, the uh, conversation of the concentration and the molarity. So ada kaitan tak mass dengan mole? Ada kaitan kan? Ingat tak? Kamu dah belajar semasa chapter 3 mole equal to n equal to mass over volume. Uh, mass over volume okay so mass equal to mole times with the eh, sorry number of mole equal to mass 
over molar mass. So, how do you can find the mass? So, mass equal to number of mole times with the molar mass. So, this is the relationship lah. So, concentration you want to convert to the molarity. So, you divide with the molar mass. Ingat lagi nak cari molar mass? Ha, melalui relative atomic mass. So, molarity you want to convert to the uh, concentration in mass over the m cube. You time with the molar mass. Okay, let's we go to the example. So, ready with your calculator. Okay, ready with your calculator. Okay, example 6. 50 gram centimeter diana in uh, calculate the concentration in this unit. So, 40 gram, you divide with the volume. So, you got the concentration. So, concentration ini pun sama. The mass divide with the volume. Okay. So, the volume here is in centimeter cube. So, you don't forget to convert centimeter cube. Okay. Centimeter cube to the uh, dm cube. Okay. This is a in a dm cube. Okay. In a dm cube. Ini kena tukar dulu. So, di sini dia sudah bagi ha, dah bagi kekeliruan kepada kamu. Kalau kamu tak alert, habislah untuk jawapan tersebut. Okay. We go to the example 7. So, in here you are, the question ask you to find the molarity. So, molarity number mole is given Volume is given, so you divide. So here, uh, this question, the question give in centimeter cube. You convert first to the dm cube. So the number of mole divide with the volume. Okay, divide with the volume. Okay, next. Okay, example A. Okay, example A pula dia bagi molarity. You the question ask you to convert to mass dm cube. So how the molarity want to convert to the mass uh, 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 apa tu concentration molarity want to convert to the concentration so you look in this uh, rumus uh. so molarity concentration is equal to molarity time a molar mass kalau kamu macam tiba-tiba kamu lupa bagaimana darab ke Ha, times ke, bahagi ke, senang sahaja. So, kamu ambil kepada dia punya unit. Kamu you nampak ha, unit ya. So, you know the molarity unit is mole dm cube. So, the molar mass is gram over mole. So, mole dm cube here, mole negative 1 and mole. So, you can cross, you can cross. So, yang baki tinggal adalah g dm cube. So, that's why we got the concentration here. Okay, faham ya? So, to find the molarity pula, okay, find the molarity pula for this example question, the concentration is given, so to convert to the molarity, the concentration, you divide with the molar mass. Okay, adakah kamu ingat lagi how to find the molar mass? So, molar mass here, so saya ingatkan lagi, uh, you look to the relative atomic mass. So, relative atomic mass for the hydrogen is 1, nitrogen is 14. And oxygen here is 16 times with the 3. Why 3? Because they have a 3 atom of the oxygen here. Kalau tak faham bahasa ini, kamu kena pergi patah balik kepada chapter 3. Ha, chapter 3. So, this is the important calculation in the chemistry. Kalau the basic ini kamu tak tahu nak cari molar mass, the whole chemistry memang kamu tak boleh nak bawa. Okay. So, the molarity concentration over the molar mass. So, the concentration here you got and you find the molar mass. So, lithium here given as 7 and O is oxygen 16. So, hydrogen is 1. So, GG you can cancel up. So, mol naik ke atas dia akan jadi mol dm cube. Okay. We can calculate also the number of mole solute. So, how to find the number of mole solute dissolved in the solution if its molarity and the volume are known. 
So maksudnya kita ada number molarity. Molarity ni adalah dia punya dia punya simbol dia adalah m besar and the volume is v. So how to find the number of mole? So to find the number so to find the number of mole saya ringkaskan saja. So number of mole is equal to molarity time with the volume. So molarity time with the volume. So you know that the molarity the unit is here mole dm negative 3 okay, time with the dm 3. So dm negative 3 and 3 you can cancel out. Kali ini matematik ah. Ha. So tinggal apa? Number of mole. So n here is a uh, okay. Ataupun yang pertama yang ni dia nak tunjuk bahawa the molarity is equal mole over dm cube. So to find the mole, so you know that the formula for the molarity is mole over the dm cube. So to find the mole, so volume bawa ke sini jadi molarity uh, time with the volume. So n equal to mv over 1000. So in your note, pastikan semua rumus yang ada ini, 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 ini dan ini mesti ada di dalam nota kamu. Okey, nota. Simple. Tak payah masukkan example. Okey, example 10. Calculate the number of mole potassium hydroxide found in 2 decimeter cube of 0.5 mole dm cube. So, the given is V. This is a molarity M. So, the formula is N equal to MV. So, M here is M ye wa, where, where, where? Okay, 0 0.5 time with the 2 decimeter cube. So, this, this. So, the the number of mole is 1 mole. Okay, 1 mole. So, kat sini, di sini, if you not uh, not write down your the unit, so confirm salah. Okay, contoh yang mole ni tak ada. So, salah lah. Ha? Ini perlu ke cikgu? Ni tak perlu ha? Dia tak perlu Pastikan dan dipastikan diingatkan Apa yang kamu nak cari Kamu kena tulis Contoh You want to find the number of mole So number of mole N equal MV You nak cari number of mole siapa? So number of mole Tambah lagi di sini K O H ha? K O H So senang So ini this question A beaker contain 200 cm cube or 0.2 mole dm cube solution PB and O3. How many moles of lead PB and O3 to in its beaker? So, the volume if given. The molarity is given. The location is mole. So, you know that N equal to MV. So, but di sini you must careful so di sini dia guna cm cube so cm cube here you must to be convert to the dm cube so how you want to convert so convert kepada uh, divide with the 1000 so uh, the molarity time with the volume divide with the 1000 and equal to mv over 1000 okay if the formula given is centimeter cube so the number of mole here okay so can you try the activity 6.6 .6? okay number one until six and please snap your calculation to me please snap your calculation to me and also must be same with the uh, answer in the textbook okay so ini pun test yourself 6.5 Test yourself 6.5 So settle down your note The simple note And your textbook And also your punya buku kerja Okay Saya rasa dah, uh, Di sini Lebih banyak uh, The more exercise you do uh, Semakin mahir Untuk kamu bab calculation Tak payah kamu nak tengok Macam mana uh, To find the number of more From the molarity and the volume So how to find the concentration Convert to the molarity Molarity convert to the concentration uh, Semua dah dalam kepala So pastikan Kamu semua boleh buat So nota saya yang dalam volume Dalam ini pun Lebih kurang Sama je So di sini pun sama je tak ada ah dia di sini pun sama je so next nanti
kita akan belajar mengenai standard solution. Okay, see you again.